Hello everyone. Guys, most of the people were asking for EVNG setup, how to set up the lab. So today in this video, we are going to understand a step-by-step -step process to set up EVNG. I don't have any software and I have not downloaded any software in my computer. So I am going to show you everything from the initial, right? First of all, you need to download few software like, you know, if I will tell you that how many software is required to set up EVNG. So let me tell you, first of all, you need EVNG to EVNG software. So we will download EVNG software from the EVNG website. After that, we need uh, VMware. VMware. So we will download VMware as well from the EVNG website. After that, you need WinSFP. So we will download WinSFP also. Uh, I will show you that how to download WinSFP. Then I will give you the link to download the images and uh, see whatever software are required to set up the EVNG. I am going to show you everything step by step. So you can download this software from the website. And uh, lastly, you need image, router image and switches image. So I will give you the link in description to download router image and uh, switch image, right? So that is that will be the last step. Before that, we need to set up the EVNG first. So let me tell you that how you can download EVNG. So here you need to visit to EVNG official website. So just you need to type EVNG in the browser. In any browser you can type EVNG. After that you can see this is official website of EVNG. Click here and go to download section. And see we are going to set up EVNG at free of cost. So we need to download free EVNG. So here we have free EVNG community. So here you can download the EVNG file like uh, OVF file. So you can download the Google Mirror or uh, Mega Mirror. Any file you can download. Let me download the uh, OVF Mega Mirror file. So here you can see between the link I am going to click on this. Uh, I am going to click on this link to download EVNG software. Before that, you can see I have one, uh, you know, uh, I am getting one option to download VMware, uh, VMware Workstation Player at free of cost over here, right? So we can download VMware from here as well. So I need to download VMware as well. So I am going to download VMware first from here. So click on the link. And after that, you can see I have download option. So go to download. And then if you are using the window operating system, so you can click over here. If you are using the Linux, so you can click over here. So this is for window operating system. I am going to download it in window. So let me download it for window. Okay. See, my VMware player download has been started. Now I am going to download EVNG Mega Mirror. So let me click here. Here I have download option, so let me download it. Okay. Now you need one more software from here that you need to download. That is, see, on the top you you are able to see the EVNG Professional Free EVNG Community Edition. After that, Window Client Side. So you need to download Window Client Side. So click over here, and that then you will get Window Integrated Pack or window integrated uh, pack mirror. So you can download anyone. Let me download window integrated pack here. So I have downloaded three software from the EVNG website, VMware, EVNG, and uh, EVNG client pack. So see EVNG is downloading, VMware is downloaded, and uh, window client pack is downloading. So VM VMware is, successfully downloaded now i am going to install vmware so go click on the here and let me install it run as administrator so vmware click on next after that i accept the term and click next 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 this is very easy to install VMware, right? Like normal software, you can install it. 
okay so vmware is about to complete it will take some time guys i am not pausing the video because you know i want to show you all step very clearly so that you can install you can set up uh, evng by yourself in your computer this is for my paid students mainly right so it will take some time until then what i am going to do see it's successful click on finish then after installing vmware you can see on my computer screen the vmware has been successfully installed okay this is vmware now let me check the evng so evng is downloading okay after that uh, evng window client is downloaded so let me install window client till then so here also i am going to install it run as administrator like a normal software you can install this also this software will install even G, uh, sorry wire shark or all you know needed software automatically so click next okay i accept the agreement and say next 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 install This software is also about to install. Finish. Cut it. It's installing Wireshark. So click next. till then i am going to check the evng evng is 46% downloaded okay it will take some time because size of evng software is i think large so till now we have installed vmware and uh, evng window client stack click next and finish finish so we have installed two software till now after that let me check the evng status okay evng is 52 percent completed it will take few more time till then what i can do i can download the uh, router image so I will give you the link to download router image in description. You can check. Once you will click on the link, you will be here on this or uh, on my drive. Okay. Here we have dynamic, uh, dynam dynamic some router image, some switches image. So router image in router image you can see I have two I think router. I have image of two routers, dynamic, uh, seven two double zero and three seven two five. So if you want to install both router in your EVNG, you can download both. If you want to install one router, so you can download any one. I am going to download both. So let me click over here and let me say download. I am going to install switch also. So we have layer 2 switch and layer 3 switch inside this IOL file. So I am going to download this also download anyway okay now i am going to arrange these file in my computer let me copy this router image from here or let me cut it from here and i am going to save it in let's say d drive here i am going to create one folder 
in let's say e drive we have we should have one folder so i am going to create one folder with name let's say evng 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 in this folder i am going to paste the router image okay this is my router image in the same way i am going to paste i will miss switch image as well cut and let me paste it over here after that i am going to create one more folder over here for evng software evng software inside this folder i will paste evng software i think evng is okay 76% downloaded wait till then i am going to extract this this full this the image so extract over here and i am going to extract iol also extract here okay now we need one more software that is winsft so let me download winsft also till then win sft download official site to download winsft here you can download winsft let me download it so winsft has been downloaded let me install this software also in my computer run as administrator yes yes recommended for all user accept next next install finish so we have win sap as well okay now we will wait for evng download is about 98% complete so soon it is going to complete total size of evng software is you can see 2.7 gb now it's completed right i am going to do what i am going to copy this and wait it will take just few second okay now here is my evng file it will take few more second Okay, now you can see this is my evng software. I am going to cut it from here and let me paste it to D drive to E drive. Sorry, in E drive we have one folder with name evng. Here we have evng software. I am going to paste it over here and let me. this is zip file so we need to extract it okay i am going to extract it over here extract here it will take some time
okay so this is about to complete after that now the next step is see here i have obf file okay now what we need to do just we need to open your vmware workstation so let me open my vmware workstation over here after that you need to open a virtual machine you need to click on open a virtual machine over here click on it and i am going to select this file so in d drive see in evng in the software i have one this file so i am going to open this file over here and here you need to define the name of your virtual machine let's say name of my virtual machine is evng evng and after that you can define the location okay and then import so again it will take some time right as you know file size of evng is large around 2 gb so now it's importing the evng file in vmware okay now we will it we can edit the virtual machine so by clicking on edit virtual machine setting over here and you can manipulate the ram i am i am going to assign 8 gb ram to evng four processor and hard disk after that network adapter here you should you should click on you should select nat right after that if you want to manipulate these things like if you want to define more memory to evng you can define it from here let's say i am going to say uh, for default that is 8 gb let's say okay right now i am going to play this virtual machine by clicking over here you have one button play button play virtual machine so click on it my virtual machine is opening in vmware we can maximize it see now we need to log in and here on the top as you can see by default username is root and password is evng right by default username is if and password is password is if so i am going to say username root and password is if and now we have one ip address okay we will have one ip address now it is asking for the password so let me set password default password that is if just you need to type if and say okay after that it is asking for the repeat password so again i am going to say if and say okay then it is asking for host name so i am going to set it for the default that is evng say okay after that it is asking for the domain name set it for default after that it is asking for the ip address static or dscp so let's let's leave it for the default dscp say okay after that it is asking for ntp server so if you have ntp server you can define the ip address of ntp server otherwise you can leave it for default say okay after that direct connection okay 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 i have left everything for default now we will have one ip address from the dscp server and we can open the evng in the browser with that ip address first of all we will check connectivity between my virtual machine and my physical machine here again i am going to say pass uh, username login username is root and password is if done now you can see my my ip address is 192.168.147.128 i am going to check the connectivity from my physical machine let me open my cmd and from my cmd i am going to ping this ip address ping 
192.168.147.128 and you can see there is connectivity between my virtual machine and my physical machine right now i can open the uh, the evng in browser so let me open any browser let's say this browser and here i am going to put this ip address 192.168.147.128 128 and see it's asking for the username and password if you will click on sign in you will get the default username and password default username is admin and password is eve over here so i am going to say admin and password is this is in a small admin and password is eve say login now i have evng in my browser now here we can create the lab here you need to put the name of your lab let's say it is ccnp click on new folder in ccnp we can create the new any lab so by clicking over here you can say the name of your lab let's say i am going to create one lab of static routing so static static let's say routing and say okay save now you can see this is the work space here we can add the the node so by right clicking over here on the screen you will see you will get one node option and see we have lots of node over here but these are not highlighted means we don't have image now but we have one virtual machine here you can see virtual machine so i can use this virtual machine let's say i am going to take two virtual machine over here two and say okay so see we have two virtual machine if i want to connect it we can connect both machine together if i want to turn on the device we can turn on the device by by clicking over here go to more option and start all node now you can see my node is started now click double click over here and open it now you can see you have access of your virtual machine here we can define the ip address ip 10.1.1.1 slash 24 let's say done in the same way to vpc2 also i can define the ip address let's say vpc2 ip address is ip 10.1.1.2 slash 24 and now we can ping each other let me show you from PC number one, from VPC one, I am going to ping VPC two ten dot one dot one dot two. There is connectivity done. Now I am going to show you how to add router image and switch image over here. To add routers and switch image, you need to let me minimize it. You need to see my VMware, my EVNG is working over VMware, so VMware will be in running right. After that, you need to open WinSFT. In Win through Win SFT we can add the we can add the routers and switches image. Whatever image you want to add in EVNG, you can add through Win SFT. First of all, we need to log in the Win SFT. So here host name will be the IP address of EVNG. As you know, IP address is 192.168.147.128. Here I am going to put the IP address 192.168.147.128. It, this is my host name port number will be 22 default username will be root and password is eve and you need to log in okay so we have log, logged in over here in evng now in win sfp now see if you will go back over here you have lots of options so you need to find OPT. In OPT, you will go to Unit Lab. In Unit Lab, you have one option to go in Add-ons. In Add-ons, we have option of dynam Dynamics and IOL. So here we can add the router image. Here we can add the switch image. I am going to show you the router image first. How to add router image? So click on Dynamic. Here we will. This is my actually computer and this is EVNG. In my computer, as you know, in which drive, in D drive, I think, we have images. 
So I will go in C drive. In I am going to select which drive? E drive. In E drive, we have one folder EVNG. In EVNG, you can see we have routers. So I am going to select these two router over here and I am going to drag and draw in EVNG. Okay, now you can see I have these two router in EVNG. So where is my EVNG? Here in the browser. In the browser, I am going to just refresh it. And again, I am going to add node. And now this time you can see these two routers are highlighted. So I am going to use, let's say, this router. Let's say I am going to use number of node is two and hit enter. Now you can see you have two router. If you want to change the host name, you can change it the here. Let's say host name is R1. Save. Let's say here host name is R2. Done. Now I am going to connect these two router together and as you know how to turn on the device like go to more and select uh, start all node now you can see my router is working fine if you want to take access of your router you can see now you have access of your router one in the same way router two this is how we you can set up the evng software in your computer like this you can install you can add more uh, what we say node in EVNG, like IOL. If I want to add IOL, so go to bin and here you will select the IOL. IOL and we have IOL, we can copy these all and we can paste it over here. Like this is, this is how you can add the nodes. Any nodes you can add, but just you need software. This is your computer. Here your file will be available and you can drag and draw in EVNG. Done. Now you can see I have added uh, IUL image as well. Now if you will refresh it, you will refresh it so you will get that option also. Let th those nodes as well. Okay guys. So this is how you can set up EVNG in your computer. Now that's all for today. If you have any doubt, any confusion, you can let me know in the, in the comment section and you have link in description to download uh, uh, the routers and switches image okay guys thanks for watching that's all for today bye bye